Hi, this is Jeff Challen. In the next short screencast for Lab 3, I'm going to show you how to create a new class file in your IntelliJ project. Now, I don't need to do this. I already have one that I could use for this lab. It was Chris, this was created for me when I created the project because I chose the command line project template. That automatically created a class that also has a main method. But let's say I wanted to create another class within my project with a different name or because I want to use it to hold different functionality. So let's call this web scraper. Okay, and, and that's all I have to do. So I just come over here, click to source, I click new Java class and then choose a name for it. And when I'm done, I have a class here. In order to make this class runnable, I need to add a main method. And there's a um, just a sort of canonical syntax for this which is public static void main is the name of the method. It takes a um, array of strings as arguments. In this case, I'm not going to use them, so I'm going to call it, call it unused to indicate to other people um, that I'm not using those. And now I'll just put a single print line in here so that I can make sure that it's actually going to run. So now I have this option down here, run web scraper.main. I'm going to run it, it's going to build and now I can see that it printed ran, so this worked fine. The other thing I'm going to do in the screencast is show you how to get started with Git with a new project. So when you initialize a new project, it's not, um, it's not, uh, Git is not active, so I can't commit things, I can't push things, um, I'm not able to save my work using version control, but I want to right away. So let's see how we can start doing this. So, so I go up to the VCS menu, and there's an option here for enable version control integration. And I want to go down here and I want to choose Git. So I'm going to associate version control, the Git version control system with this particular project. Um, so now what happened is um, the, there was a Git repository that was initialized. And now if I go up here, I can see that I have options about the normal sort of Git options, including uh, commit. I don't have, um, there's not going to be a way to push and pull this yet. We're going to show you how to, how to configure that later. But for now, let's do a commit. Um, and you'll see here that this is committing right now. This is the initial commit for this project. It's committing all the files in, in my directory. So I've got, um, these are sort of files that are used by IntelliJ internally to store information about my project. And then I've got web scraper.java and main.java. So I'm going to put initial project commit and hit commit down here. Let's see, I'm not sure why it's not letting me do this. Oh, I've got to select everything. Okay, so I'm going to select all the files uh, that I want to add, hit initial project commit, and then I'm going to hit commit down here. And then, uh, no, these are just warnings, that's okay. Um, and now that Git is active for the project, IntelliJ is going to start asking me about whether I want to add files to it. Um, I would not click this. This is a nice pop-up message to get from IntelliJ. Um, so I'm going to hit yes here. And now you can see down here that the project is, um, Git is active for this project and I'm able to save my work using version control, which is something that's very important.